again and this time I am back with another exciting tutorial uh, where we are going to look at how to do animation using material UI and something called Animista so I'll show that but before that let's look at the demo so I'll do a refresh of the page and as you can see that animation so that's a slit animation and then when I hover my mouse over the text watch how awesome so you can use this in your website wherever you want so let's get started I guess all right so here we are and we have as we do a basic react app and I have already installed material UI I have like I've done in the past and then I have just basic styles to my style the CSS nothing fancy at all. all right so I'll close this and I'll close this so what do we start well so first of all let's set up the stage and add that text with that uh, card so that we can play around with it so why don't I go ahead and start typing that you guys don't want to see me type that All right, so now that we have typed those, let's use them. Uh, I'll just explain. So the holder is just to hold the title, and they're both inheriting from Material UI components. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that I can take advantage of the variant and the color props. Uh, I'll show that. And this is just a display of flex, justify con content center, so that everything is nice and center. So I'll come here and I'll say holder, and let's close it. And then we'll say title right and I can just give it a variant of h1 and I'll just type my company name all right so as you can see the um, we got our you know text and the card so everything is coming in nicely so what we do now is maybe we should give this a color how about EEE? -E -E? There you go. All right, so now how do we do animation? Well, uh, there's something, as I said, uh, Animista is a very awesome website where you can get all your animations. And so let's say I click on text and then I want to, so there's so many, there's so many uh, um, animations you can do, but let's say I want to apply this animation, the shadow shadow pop, and then there's uh, sub categories, I guess, that you can also click on. So let's say I like this one, the text shadow pop uh, br, and then how do we how do we apply that to here? If you look on the material um, website, they have their own animations, but they only have like slide and uh, grow and shrink I think a couple so I I would like to apply these this animation right here so what do you do is once you once you like the animation and you want to apply it then you click on this icon I was gonna give you the keyframes and the animation the class I guess that's gonna apply to so this is good if you're just doing normal CSS and stuff but we're using material UI style uh, emotion and react so we need to kind of take this and bring it into here somehow. All right, so that's I'm gonna put this on the side, and the first thing I'll do is I will come here and start defining the keyframes. So I will say const, and I'll copy that name from Animista. So it is this name I'm gonna copy, and I'll show you why. All right, and then what I'll do is, of course, I'll remove all these and do the camel case. And then there's something in Material UI in the system that's called keyframes. So we will ex use exactly that. So now, what do we put in the body? So if I come over here, uh, you have this object. Well, I guess these properties. So what we do is we take just this portion. I'm gonna copy it and paste it here. So, so that's my that's my um, 
that's my animation keyframes. So now we need to somehow apply this to the text when we hover our mouse over it. So how do you do the hover thingy in Material UI? Well, what you do is you say quote, single quote, and then you do the and symbol and double and I think is um, sorry a period hover and then like this and now we can say animation right and this will be a string literal and let's pass in the you know before we do that let's change the color just to make sure uh, this works so the hover effect works so if I hover my mouse as you can see this doesn't work so let's try the double cool okay so it is double uh it's just a colon actually that's what you need to use all right so no now, now we know that works so what we can do we can say animation and then we can use the string literal and i can pass in the name which is the text shadow blah 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 now how can we use the rest of the um, attributes so for example the timing and that very simple you just take it copy it and paste it here all right so if everything was good yes so as you can see very quickly we have applied a very nice animation to the font to the text all right so that's awesome so now let's say uh, we are making this cool website and when a page refreshes you would like to animate your page whatever you want to animate so we want to do that all right so the first thing i'll do is uh, let's pick an animation that we like and let's go to entrances and let's say I want the one I was using was slid in but of course you can use swing in fade in I you know you can just play with this thing all day but let's say I want to all right so let's do the roll in so I'm gonna roll in you see me roll in right and then I will take you know what I'll do? I'll just take all of all of this, all right, and I'll copy it. I'll move this over to the side, and let's do one for the for that one. So I'll say const, and I'll say roll in uh, left style. Oh, not style. This is a keyframe. Uh, keyframes and then what I can do is I can just like how I did before I can just paste in my keyframes and then we need to apply this on page load so that should be fairly straightforward to do so all we do is use a use effect all right like so and then we're gonna run this only once now I don't want to write it um, actually execute this right away so maybe we can do a set timeout wait for a second or half a second whatever it is so let's say we wait for half a second and then we're going to do our um, animation so for that we will create a state All right, so initially we're not doing any roll and on the on after that interval you will do set roll to true All right so now we need to somehow pass that into the our own component uh, to use it so as you can see we want to apply this to the holder so what i'll do is i'll just do dereferencing and i'll say roll and then over here i'll do a uh, roll equal to roll cool all right, so now what we want to do is we want to animate only when we are on a roll. So I will say animation, and that should be fairly straightforward. We can just do roll and so our string literal, and I will copy that timing and stuff from there. And then we can do like this. All right. And I need to give it the name. So I'll say roll in effect. Roll in left, sorry. Roll in left. So now it's complaining. Uh, the problem is is I use a semicolon. So in emotion, um, you cannot use semicolon. In style components, you can. So I'm going to remove that. All right, let's see. Whoa, that was pretty cool. Let's do it again. 
nice right so I mean as you can see initially it's uh, visible the thing so what you can do is initially hide this uh, over the display of none so if I come here let's say none so of course it will be always invisible so that will only be if it's not rolling then do it there you go so why is it complaining about that no, 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 inline, whatever. Anyway, so as you can see, when I come in, or we can do this visibility, visibility hidden. So let's refresh. Cool. You saw the problem with the with the display is the text. If you were paying attention, the text it lost its uh, alignment within the container, and that's because uh, display none is completely removes it from the um, from the DOM, right? With visibility, it's still in the DOM, uh, so you still maintain your structure and everything. So that's why you want to use visibility of hidden. And now when the page loads. Uh, it's a nice proper animation as you can see like that alrighty so that will be it for now but before we go I just want to show you guys something that I'm working on and I am working on this somebody requested in the comments to make a complete website single page in material UI so that's exactly what I'm working on uh, this will be an e-commerce website with react and material UI and we'll pretty much cover everything that you need to know in material UI so it'll be like a one complete full tutorial I've already started the main page and we'll be using icons we'll be using um, how to customize the theme and I'm, I'm using the animation there too so if I hover my mouse as you can see we'll we'll use custom fonts and uh, pretty much we'll customize the entire uh, pretty much everything in material UI can think of so uh, very excited uh, please like and subscribe uh, so it motivates me to finish this very quickly and um, yeah that'll be it for now bye